Hi, I'm Max Kleiman along with Jesse Mayfield Sheehan. Welcome to this edition of K-Sport Sunday. Here it is, Celtics-Lakers. The Celtics are trying to come back from a difficult 102-89 to loss at the Staples Center on Thursday night's Game 1. Paul Pierce told media on Thursday night that he believes in the Celtics' ability to bounce back from the loss. Pierce was the Celtics' leading player in Game 1 with 24 points and 9 rebounds. Now one player that made a big difference in the last series against the Magic this postseason is Marquise Daniels. The bad news, he's out with a concussion. That means the Celtics star players need to pick it up from Game 1. Boston fans are hoping for a road split with a win in tonight's game to swing the momentum in their favor for the next two games in Boston. I, for one, have confidence in the Celtics to break Phil Jackson's 47-0 record when winning Game 1 of an NBA playoff series. And to get all of you K-Sports fans in the mood for the rest of this Celtics Lakers series, here's the Celtics intro video from the 2007 season where the Celtics overcame the Lakers and won the finals. And now on to baseball. The Boston Red Sox continued their hot streak yesterday against the Baltimore Orioles. John Lester picks up the win, but as we all know, you have to score to win. And the Red Sox did it. Kevin Euclid had an explosive three-hit game, while the Sox as a whole scored six runs in the ninth inning. Remember, the last series between the Sox and the Orioles ended with an Orioles sweep. The Red Sox played the last game of the series this afternoon against the Orioles and were close to losing it after eight innings until Dustin Pedroia hit a sack fly to bring in the tying run and bring it to extra innings. But the Sox couldn't come through with the sweep. They lost their game this afternoon, 4-3. to three. On a sadder note, Hall of, Fame coach Bas Hall of Fame college basketball coach John Wooden passed away last Saturday, late Saturday night. Coach Wooden played college ball at Purdue and coached at UCLA. It was at UCLA where he won a record 10 NCAA national championships and 8 consecutive championships from 1967 to 1975. Let's take a look at an interview with John Wooden after UCLA Bruins won the national championship in 1975. Take a look at this interview with Coach Wooden in 1975. Well, Coach Wooden, I've been here many times and I remember one time several years ago I said, well, John Wooden, what's new? You have just won your 10th national championship in the last 12 years, and it is, of course, your final night. Yes, it is, and I want to thank all those uh, that have watched the game on television because you're basketball fans, and it was a tremendous ball game uh, both ways, and uh, I'm just happy it's over. So, John Wooden, congratulations thank from you. all of America and basketball for your wonderful, wonderful career, and stay with the game. Thank you, Tim. Thank, thank you, John Wooden. Today, many soccer fans were injured before a World Cup warm-up match between Nigeria and North Korea in Johannesburg. FIFA was not involved as the match was arranged privately, and tickets were sold outside the stadium. Many fans were confused about the tickets and tried to get in without one. Police soon made attempts to control the crowd, but it wasn't enough. A dozen fans and a police officer sustained minor injuries. More on soccer, American soccer player Josie Altador practiced for the first time after spraining his ankle last week. It is still unknown if he will be playing or not in the England versus U.S. game on June 12th. On the tennis scene, earlier today, Rafael Nadal won his fifth French Open title. Nadal is the second man in history to achieve five or more French Open titles, joining the ranks of Bjorn Borg, who has won a record six titles. This is Nadal's 38th victory this season, only losing four matches. Also in tennis, Francesca Schiavone won the French Open women's singles. She is the first Italian woman to win a Grand Slam event in singles. She is currently ranked number six in the world. And on to Stanley Cup news. For those of you who still follow hockey, the Blackhawks and Flyers are playing Game 5 tonight in Chicago. The series is tied two games each. Blackhawks fans are hoping to see more out of star Patrick Kane, 
who only has one goal and one assist in the series. And that will do it for news this week. On the other side of the break, we will be talking Celtics, Lakers, and more Boston sports from the back talk set. Stay tuned. I'm Ben with Young Broadcasters of America. And I'm Nicole, and we have a blast here. I'm Ben with Young Broadcasters of America. And I'm Nicole, and we have a blast here. Hi, I'm Ben with Young Broadcast. I'm Ben with Young Broadcasters of America. And I'm Nicole, and we have a blast here at YBA every week producing television shows. So Ben, what do you like best about YBA? Well, Nicole, I like going live on the internet and talking sports just like they do on ESPN. And hello everybody, this is YC Back Talk. I'm Kunal Singh. Today we will be talking about college football, the NFL, and the NBA. I also get a chance to interview members of the Patriots, Red Sox, Celtics, and Bruins. How about you? I got to meet American Idol finalist Ayla Brown. And we've also met some really cool celebrities from Boston media, like Billy Costa from Kiss Went Away. But still, keep an eye out. But what I really love is talking all about Hollywood fashion. So let's all be comfy instead of like looking fashionable. No, it is fashionable because for like a year there was gauchos on every magazine. Yeah, and that guy Alex and his crazy news. He cracks me up. Hey, I'm Alex Stubb and this is the crazy news of the day. Should we tell them how to get started at YBA? Go for it. For more information, call us at 508-650-2000 or go online at youngbroadcasters.com. Who knows? You could be the next star discovered on the internet. <laughs> 